thing while I did the playthrough. I would be at 70. Yeah, it's a full price game, bro. It's got the original Dark Souls 2, all the DLC, and the new ending attached to it. As well as a uh, full 1080p 60, although it normally runs at an average of about 40 to 50 on the Xbox One, as opposed to the full 60 on PlayStation 4. Um, it's got remixes of character locations, item locations, all sorts of different stuff. Um, there's more co-op, or there, there's um, a bigger emphasis on co-op. You can actually have more like co-op characters and stuff in the game now. They did a, a whole overhaul on it, and it's actually a very good, uh, perfect addition for someone who didn't pick up the original game like I did. So I'm looking forward to picking it up just on the fact that Wow, all the shit I'm picking up sucks. Just on the fact that I didn't play it before, and now that they've done the majority of the uh, fixes to the game that they're going to do, you know, except for some probably minor patches they'll put out after the game releases, it's going to have, you know, the total Dark Souls 2 package. You could have asked me the price, bro. I would have told you. Since I already paid it. <laughs> Oh wow, these guys really want my booty. Oh wow, they really want my booty. You ain't have my booty! It is my body! That's my purse! Oh shit! 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 Woo! Those, uh... Those desecration explosions that happen when the characters die are, uh... No fucking joke. So... We need to stay away from those. Alright, I know this is a dead end, this is just gonna loop right back around to where I am, but, uh... Budget. Come on, gimme that. There we go. Yeah, I mean, what did you expect the price to be? It's basically a brand new remastered version. Tony! Ancient Whiting. Just call me a hero. I slew demons beyond count. I won battles and broke sieges. Oh man, shit's gonna get dire here. Not really though. Let's see. Next time that cooldown pops, I need to switch my Reign of Arrows back over to an actual Reign of Arrows. He's not yet here. Oh, and you were giving me shit for buying games at a discount and getting free games. But a game's full price that you should support so that we get more games like it and you don't buy it? That's bullshit! Tony doesn't want to buy Dark Souls because it's $60. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I was going to drop the, the base, wub wub. I was gonna change my uh, room, but I forgot about it and immediately got into this fight. All I could think about was kill all the people. At least we're picking up death spreads and stuff now. That's gonna help us long term once we get to about, or once we get to 70, we'll have a fairly good amount of uh, uh, crafting materials to kind of give us a heads up on all the crazy shit that happens once you hit 70. Grab that, kill this executioner, and continue on up them stairs. Oh hey, we can fix it now. Let's go to the thing and switch it back over to shade. That's actually a much more satisfying attack. Yeah, buddy. I hate to, for lack of a better term, count my chickens before they hatch, but I have a, I feel like the fact that I'm really having no issues getting through this last dungeon, which granted should be a victory lap anyways, every, you know, it should be a challenge, but, you know, it should definitely give you the feeling that you've become this super powerful dude. Um, but just the fact that we're having no issues whatsoever getting through this, I feel like we're going to have no problems with the final boss here. 
Looks like maybe we'll need to go uh, northeast here, so let's continue on. Then again, I probably just put my foot in my mouth by saying that, and I'm going to get one-shotted immediately by the boss. Oh shit, there's the next level. Wow, that was fast. You bought physical copies of the original Dark Souls tone or Dark Souls 2? Because if you bought if you bought it on Steam, there's just an upgrade price that you have to pay, which is cheaper. And that'll probably end up being the uh, superior version. In fact, it will be if you've got a beastie uh, thingamajig, a beastie PC like I know you do. Mom and Dad would want that. Yeah, let's talk about our parents. And how they won't let us go out of the house dressing like that. Alright, is that worth switching over? I don't think so. You've let's so talk. Big. We look scary. Big. Oh no. Everything is a nightmare. Everything is a nightmare. That's fucked up. I don't want you That's to some go. fucking Donnie Darko shit right there. You guys remember Donnie Darko? Right. People keep trying to convince me that that movie is a masterpiece, but every time I watch it, I'm like, there's some funny lines in here, but other than that, it's just kind of muff cabbage. Like, straight up, like... Musty New Jersey muff cabbage. I know, I'm an asshole. If you're from Jersey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could probably, I should be grinding out experience on these enemies, but I don't know. I heard a sound and did not know what it was. I like the idea of just getting through here and finishing the game with a hardcore character. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy. Take some damage here. Nothing really substantial, but still. Oh shit. Shit's popping off now, kiddos. Actually, we fucking ruined them. Really badly. <laughs> Bad ass. Oh wow. Give us good old gold. I'm feeling we're getting close. The only thing I wish is they would, uh, of course they give the audio logs and those are great. I wish there would be subtitles on the audio logs sometimes. Just cause like now when I'm playing with the volume kinda low cause, you know, I don't really need to hear anything and I've already heard most of it before. You know, it still would be interesting to read. And I mean, even when there's like so much shit going on that you can't pay attention to it, sometimes it's like, well shit, I gotta go into my menu and find the audio log in order to do it again. I know it's a small gripe, but whatever. Small gripe, but I think a valid one. I'm sure they have a very specific reason why they don't do that. Oh my god, I got some badass plates, son! It's called gold something. Gold skin. Um... Life regen goes way down, but everything else goes up a substantial amount. It'll remove that fear from our set, but um, actually if I equip uh, some gems on there, it should get a lot better. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to town and switch that out really quick. Hey, kitty cat. Good kitty. Got a happy kitty hanging out with us, having a fun kitty times. Doody do. All right, my regen is at 137k. Um, how many marquee emeralds do I actually have on me? 
I have two. That's good enough. Okay. Jump in there and actually socket those in there. Boop. And one more. Sweet. Alright, up to 219k, so equipping that has actually made us a much better character. Except our fucking tits are fucking blue, or gold, which is dumb. Wish I could go fight. We are buying some dyes to switch that. Actually, we can just transmog the damn thing. Make it look like something else. Mmm... I like that one. Red boobs for the win. Sweet. That was simple. And the character actually looks pretty badass. So, you know, let's go kill the boss. <laughs> do I have shit to... Yeah, I do have a bunch of shit to... Oh, wow. Yeah. Big sexy ass on... Ass? God damn it. God damn it. Y'all heard nothing. Shut up. It's not just talking about my companion's big sexy ass. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's so stupid. Everything is stupid. Drop these off. And we still have a gift to send off. Hey, look! It's a gift for Gunfox7. Hey, Gunfox7. They're in the chat. The mod. You're getting a gift for your hardcore characters. There you go. Yeah. Let's fight them up. Alright, so we are very close to the end here for everybody tuning in. Um, thanks for joining us. We're actually right about at Mouth Ale. Uh, maybe another five minutes here and we'll be at the uh, end boss of the game uh, with our hardcore character here, which I never actually thought was going to happen. I thought I would die somewhere along the way. Especially since we're playing hardcore on a, he on a, a higher difficulty than normal. Um, I figured we were going to run into, like, a bad damage field boss at some point and just get totally stuck. And we've ha we have had some pretty dicey moments where we've gotten stuck, but overall, just this character's ability to get the fuck out of dodge in a hurry has really helped us out. So this is great. I hope we get to the end. If we don't, we don't, but, uh... I mean, stick around and see, definitely. need to find the next path here. Yeah, blow him up. Get him. There we go. Almost there. Yo, one of my bros is online. What's up, bro? I mean, he can't hear me. I'm just excited to see him, I guess. And stuff and junk. Well, so far on this second level, we've succeeded in finding where the boss is not. Okay, that's pretty blatant. We basically need to get there, we'll teleport there, and then we'll go around the thing and teleport there to there, and then we'll be at the, the boss door. So, you know, thanks dumb minimap shit for showing us exactly where we need to go. I guess it's cool, but I'm going to whine about it because I'm an asshole. Hardy, hardy, har. Wee. Seeing us like now that we've seen that, we kind we know exactly where we need to go, and it might we might end up ha having to take an extremely roundabout way to get there from the looks of it. But fuck it. So it looks like we're going to be taking an extremely roundabout way to get in there. Is this one of the ones we were looking at? Yeah, it is. Wait, no, it wasn't. Wait, yeah, it is. Bam, there we go. Teleported. I like this this level, the aesthetic of this last level, because I feel like it's an homage to the Summoner's Sanctum from uh, Diablo 2, 
which was a fucking awesome